Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a long awaited video on an update on all the fry. I was kind of waiting to do this until after Night's Fry was sold and they were shipped on Monday and Wednesday this week. So all those are gone. So first of all, you guys are looking at the first batch of East Coast Ronchu. And these guys are about... I think they'll be 10 weeks old this Saturday. So they're not quite three months old, but they're getting, they're getting close. So these guys, like I said, are 10 weeks old. They've been doing very well. I actually just moved them into this tank. This is where Knight and um, Comets Fry were. So these guys finally got an upgrade into the 60 gallon tank which they are loving so far. Uh, they've been in there for probably 24 hours now. So they have been exploring, they've been swimming around, trying to figure out depth, which is really funny. Um, I did not fill it all the way up because I am slowly filling it up over time. Um, with every water change, I fill it up a little bit more and a little bit more just to give them um, an adjustment period because they aren't used to this tall of a tank so right now I would say it's about three quarters of the way filled and I will work that throughout the next week or two to get it all the way um, but there are currently 15 of these dudes and I actually need to do another cull I found one maybe two that I'm watching that I don't really like the tail um, it's just kind of really defective, so I'm kind of watching that. Um, but they'll probably be culled within the next week or so if I don't see any changes. Uh, these guys are eating Jappy's fish food um, growth recipe. They're eating Rapashi Super Gold and also steamed egg and garlic. So they've been doing very well on that. Uh, they recently have hit uh, quite a big growth spurt um since the last time you guys saw them and i know that's been a while but uh they have been doing very well i have been watching them grow and they're starting to color up some of them and i've been wondering who am i gonna keep <laughs> and it's gonna be really hard with this batch because there's so many that I really, really, really like, but I just don't have the room to keep all of them because I have 40 others that you'll see in a minute that are just like three weeks old. So I have a lot, <laughs> um, but we'll see who I decide to pick. Um, it'll probably be a while before I actually decide, but here are the three week old fry. These are also East Coast Ranchu Arandas and these are Sakara Dodges fry. So the same as before, they just had a second batch. Um, these dudes are getting ready to hit a growth spurt. Usually I see between four and six weeks, they really start looking like fish. <laughs> Um, but they start getting chubby. They start getting really good size on them. So that's what I'm getting ready to see with these dudes very soon. So that'll be really interesting to see. There are, I believe, 43 of these dudes. And I have not done a call yet because I'm waiting for them to get a little bit bigger so that I can see tails and all that sort of thing. It's really hard to see right now. I do not have the best eyesight. I have astigmatism, so I'd like to wait a little bit longer before I actually start in-depth culling them. The good news about this batch was there was no crooked spines or anything like that. So I'm starting with how many I originally started with. I didn't have to cull any for that. So I'm just waiting a little bit longer to look at the tails on these dudes. Um, there is quite a few of white um, pinkies, I guess you would say, in this batch. And that's like one of my favorite. I don't have a matte or a pinky yet. So I'm probably going to keep one out of the oldest batch. And I might keep one out of here. You never know. But they're still really young, so I haven't really looked at them in depth. But these guys are strictly on 
um, Rapache Super Gold and Steamed Egg and Garlic. They're not big enough to take a pellet yet. So that should change within the next, I would say within two weeks, I'll probably be able to start feeding that. Um, which will really pack on the size with these dudes. People ask me why I don't feed them baby brine shrimp um, when they're just three weeks old, and that's my preference. I usually switch them over between seven and ten days old just because I don't like to hatch baby brine shrimp, <laughs> um, and I don't think they need it. I think they grow better in the long term with the egg recipe and rapashi, um, but everybody's different. That's just kind of what I've found since I started breeding. So I know this was kind of a short video, but I'm kind of in process of writing a 10 page paper. So that's all I have for you today and I'll see y'all next time.